Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on Monday, the 15th of May. It's Ascension Week here in Europe, so uh, it's a little bit lighter than... Um, lighter in liquidity and lighter in just participation. All the school kids here get Thursday and Friday off in Switzerland. I think France and Germany is the same. Um, so it's kind of one of these light weeks. The data is less interesting. We do have RBA um, tomorrow, RBA mints tomorrow. I guess we have retail sales later in the week. But uh, as you would typically guess, a slow start on um, Ascension Day week. Let's take a look at things. Let's first look at Euro. Um, 108.65. We got this one wrong on Friday. We were short going into the 109 break, which was nice. And then it was fucking around at 90. And we had the bright idea of sort of taking the profits from our shorts and going long. Obviously, that did not work. We killed it at 67. Shit went all the way down to 46 which isn't like a huge move or anything, but it was just annoying. Um, you know, the whole keep it simple, stupid, uh, you fucking Muppet came into the frontal lobe. Um, anyway, we were leaning the wrong way also with cable. Um, the failure of the first break at 125, we thought was telling this this bar here we thought this was telling we get down to 92 bang back up to 19 um you know we got long some cable uh 07 puke those 87 here we are 124 68 in the middle of nowhere um nothing really driving this i guess basically uh, like us most participants um, were sort of ass raped being short dollars. We really thought heading into um, 111, this level here, it was just, we were dancing there, cable was holding above 126. Uh, it just looked like it had to trade, right? We know there's a lot of risk above that level. Uh, people that we talked to, who I guess are like-minded, and that can be very dangerous. We're also basically just kind of waiting for the shoe to drop uh, and the beginning of the next big downward spiral, spiral for the dollar. Had high conviction, um, but just, you know, punched in the gut. No drama, right? It's not like we lost much money, but we did lose a lot of energy and it's like kind of pounding your head against a concrete wall, getting short dollars at a nice rate, getting stopped out, getting short dollars at a nice rate, trading into even a better average, getting stopped out, especially cable. Um, you know, at one point we had a brilliant average. We were looking for, you know, 127 to blow and, and um, just never happened, right? 126.81 um, or 126... 80 the high and you know we should have seen the writing on the wall a little bit you know because it did get extended you can look at this on the dailies you know we were here we actually touched two and a half sigma um that was 126.68 but this was during the boe and they were going to raise and i don't know we got all suckered into that uh but again no real damage uh the pnl for the week last week was less than a thousand dollars but it wasn't you know i think it was 380 dollars uh on you know in the negative so it's fucking meaningless in the scheme of things but what is not meaningless is the inflexibility that we had not realizing that not realizing until friday right so friday all of a sudden we're like oh let's sell through 109 there's some pain there blah 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 let's sell through 125 those were all clean. Um, we missed this trade here last week, this 240 line here. 
6334. Um, that was an easy 100 point snatch. So, pretty bad week trading last week. No PL damage, um, but just a mental check and a gut check that you got to look both ways in this business. And sometimes, the more conviction that you have, um, the more dangerous it is. It's better just to be unconvicted and trade your levels. Trade and be like present with the price. This is what we think about all the time. You just need to be present with the price. And if you're present with the price, you would have seen fucking Kiwi went from very, very bid to very, very offered. You would have seen cable failed and it went very, very offered here. 125.70. That's an e that's a pretty standard easy trade, right? Um, but if you're stuck with your head up your ass, um, you can't see five feet in front of you. Um, no one likes to have their head up their own ass. Doesn't sound all that pleasant. Been doing some yoga recently. Maybe, maybe that's one of my goals, which should be my yoga goals. Um, anyway. Going into today, the charts now suck. Uh, we've kind of had our move. It could extend. It could retrace. There's really no levels. Um, there's no interesting data today. So it's Ascension Week. So it just kind of sucks the duck, which is fine. Um, let's just check the calendar real quick for sure. Uh, industrial production out of Europe. No one really cares about that. Empire State out of the U.S. at 2.30. Uh, the Bitter Pill from NPC is speaking, 6 p.m. Again, not too much. PPI at 8.30 in Switzerland. The one chart that I did look at this morning um, that uh, did interest me is this dollar-Swiss chart. This is a sneaky one, right? And... This is just like, literally, close your fucking eyes. Dollar Swiss has been so offered for so long. Um, let's go extended line here. This is a little downward sloper here. That's three touch, fairly simple, fairly interesting. It ticks all the boxes the way we do technicals. We keep it simple, stupid methodology. Um, or you could just draw horizontal, even though there's only one high at 90.03. And then if you want to just, again, keep it ultimately s simple and recognizing how stupid that we are from time to time, just buy through 90. Um, I don't know what's going to drive that, but this is like one of this like eerie, spooky charts where Dollar Swiss is madly offered. For weeks now, all of retail has been wildly long, getting fucked. Um, weirdly, the the retail community has given up on dollar Swiss, which is maybe a sign this can go higher. But they're very long Euro Swiss still, and they're long Aussie and they're long silver. Um, I don't know. This chart is like, again, it. it if you're going to momentum trade, this is pretty simple, right? You just you don't have any emotion. You don't have any bias whether this is going to go up or this is going to go down. And I could create two equally opposing stories that are very, very interesting, right? Top side in dollar Swiss is like, we're at 90 cents. This is the general low of the range. You know, we did get down to 88.40 or whatever or 88 20 but in the scheme of things 180 points is nothing we're at the we're at the bottom of of basically the 90 one double o range um we're bouncing around here at the bottom are we going to shoot um the chart looks like it wants to shoot who the fuck you know how the fuck this shoots i don't know um but keep an eye on it have some thoughts about it i'm still on the fence um which is also telling right like this is like, you know, this is like uh, one of those horror movies. Like, don't open that door. You know what the fuck's going to happen. Um, I don't know why it kind of feels like that. And just because Dollar Swiss has been so offered for so long, 
for the last few weeks, I'm just a little bit hesitant or jaded to get long dollar Swiss. But this chart does speak to me. Think about it. Do what you need to do. Um, you know, if you live in Belgium, you, you have no baggage with the Swiss franc. So maybe this will be easier for you. But um, anyway, dollar Swiss. Euro Swiss stuck in the mud, but also bottom of the range. I mean, this thing could also uh, carry it. I don't like the fact that retail's long Euro Swiss. Um, but uh, it's not like retail has a real deep imprint on Euro Swiss. So even if they are long, it's like a small group of retards um, who don't really, you know, aren't really representative of a cluster of positioning. You know, but that said, we are at kind of the lower end of the Euro Swiss range. I mean, we've recently been down 97.06. We were at 25 Friday. Anyway, I'm babbling here. There's really not much to do. Keep an eye on the dollar Swiss chart. Um, probably map out the rest of your week with the uh, idea that Thursday and Friday are going to be much lighter. Of course, the U.S. is in. Um, weirdly, they kind of pretend to be Christian in the U.S., but <clears throat> they don't take advantage of these sort of religious holidays the way they probably should if they were if they were really going to make the most of that uh, little club. We still have unemployment on Thursday. Macklem speaks. And then Friday, Powell speaks, 5 p.m. Um, I guess this is, I don't know, I'm not sure when Jesus ascends. Maybe it's Friday. I don't know, someone, someone who follows religion will, will fill me in on this, undoubtedly. Anyway, I've said enough. Uh, bye, 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 bye. We're back. I will see you tomorrow. Ciao.